um, the advice is that you, in the, at least in the uh, uh, development phase, uh, invest in such tool. Maybe later when you go into production, it's maybe not necessary any longer. Could you help us in understanding how advanced data analytics actually helps in overall uh, regulatory compliance, as well as what's a typical data flow in the entire manufacturing process? Yeah. The, um, uh, our control systems, uh, we did develop that together uh, with uh, uh, a larger pharmaceutical company in order to uh, ensure that we understood what their requirements were, but also what uh, the regulatory bodies uh, were uh, requiring, so that we also can have a system which is uh, uh, which can be approved uh, by, for instance, the FDA uh, at a later stage. Um, which is very important uh, for continuous manufacturing, of course, is the data collection. And uh, from PIT, process analytical technology, as I mentioned, and that we can trace the material to the whole process, as mentioned before. Uh, and, and as I said, our system can uh, identify the source lot, uh, uh, the, um, the waste lot, and the target lot at, at any time. And that is the key of this whole system. There are uh, other platforms available which you can put on top of uh, the GLAD control systems, which collects all the data from uh, the PIT uh, equipment, where you then can analyze uh, the data which is coming out uh, of the systems. Um, the advice is that you, in the, at least in the uh, uh, development phase, uh, invest in such tool. Maybe later when you go into production, it's maybe not necessary any longer. But for identifying your operating window in the beginning, it's very important to collect the data and analyze these data uh, properly. And there are platforms available, like a company called Syntiq, who can provide uh, such platforms for analysis.